Well, I guess now the long wait begins for her to give us a call. And then we can start going on datos and things. Hey, Merle, you are mean to my friend. I'm not going out with you anymore. <laughs> Poor Patim. She has a mean girls and she reacted quite normally under the circumstances. Oh. Your phone's going, you know. Ugh, I always forget to take it off silent. Thanks. I don't recognize the number either. Oh my, the music actually stopped for this, this moment. Um, hello? Uh, uh. Who is it? I don't know, sounds like some guy moaning down the- Hey! Hello? I can totally hear you, you know. This had better not be one of those calls. Don't make me alert the authorities. Aw, he looks so timid. Like, Ugh, my heart. <laughs> Aw, sweet purr. Ah, uh, no, I mean, uh, this is Purr, you know, Patim's brother? She gave me your number, and, uh... Oh! Oh god, I'm sorry. Uh, disregard that last. I was just playing with you. Great guy, good, great, good, great, great start to that sentence. Let's try that again. Great going, Rosie. Guys love it when you threaten to have them arrested. Sorry, I, uh, I guess I didn't really think this through. No, no, not at all. What can I do for you? Well, uh, I was just wondering if you would, if you'd like to go someplace, like meet up in town or, I mean, uh, I was pretty out of order the other day and uh, I wanted to apologize, so. Oh, wow. I mean, you really don't have to apologize for anything, but I'm pretty busy at the moment, barf. Sure. You free this afternoon? Eh? Uh, really? I mean, you actually want to? Sure, sounds like fun. We can maybe meet at the shopping center in town? You know, the Arndale? Um, sure. That, I mean, that sounds great. Thank you, Rosie. I'll see you there. Ooh -hoo -hoo. What's this then? Date at the Arndale? Sounds classy. What's next? A packet of crisps and a can of pop under the stars? Quiet, you. He's just a wean. Wouldn't want him to waste his pocket money. Ew, you're such a pedo. Hey, he's only a year younger than I am. We can't all be into beers and wrinkles. Anyway, I'm off. Wish me luck. You're a great friend, Merle. So, what do you think of this blue one? Doesn't it bring out my eyes? Aren't your eyes brown? I was gonna say, I'm like, I don't remember Rosie's eyes being blue. Hey, I think you'll find the right answer to questions like that is, yes, dear, of course. <laughs> I shall, I'll bear that in mind next time. Aw. Huh? Uh, uh, well, it's nothing. It's just, that's quite the verbal tick you've got there. It's kind of cute. W what You know, I mean, you talk kind of like your sister. It's okay, you don't have to keep correcting yourself. It's kind of oldie-worldie. I like it. My English teacher would probably love you. Uh, well, you might like it, but I'd sound a right idiot if I went around speaking like that all the time. I think pet's just beyond caring. I wouldn't go that far. I'd rather listen to that than the crap that comes out of my mouth, to be honest. And verily, that is the truth. Um, forsooth! <laughs> hey, no I am- I'm not quite that bad. Indeed! Now let us proceed forthwithly to the movie theater, and thou shalt pay for my popcorn, yay! <laughs> Alas, if I'd known you were this irritating, I'd never have rung you. <laughs> I think we might work it all right, me and Purr. <laughs> I'm glad he took that as the teasing it was and not, like, stop making fun of the way I speak, gosh, you're worse. <laughs> I might have got a little ticked otherwise. <laughs> Aw, oh, Purr, you're too sweet and cute. Too good for us. Too good for us, sweet boo. That was very cute. We couldn't- we had no option to call him. He had to call us, and... He was beaten by Beck by one turn, but still. You get an A+. Now, can I read about you? Yeah, there you are. 
Five foot six, Fatim's brother, a fairly timid baby-faced boy who, from the looks of it, goes to the all-boys school down the road. Unlike his sister, he seems to be going out of his way to sound like a normal teenager. With mixed results. But you know, he's trying. Now, can we date? Can we call it? We can call you for a date. I mean, he'll probably jump at the opportunity, but we don't know. Guess I'll give Per a call. Uh, hey, Rosie. Um, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, Per. Just wondering if, if you wanted to go out somewhere today. Um, where were you thinking of? Hmm. Will he only go to the shopping center? Uh, I won't save here. Um, I'll try the arcade. Uh, well, I don't usually go, but sure, if you like. Really? I mean, okay, cool. I'll see you there then. Sure. Uh, see you in a bit, Rosie. Success! Per, you're so sweet. And just for you, I'll wear my young madam outfit. I bought clues just for you. Ooh! I like this look. Very nice. Hey, sorry, you weren't waiting long, were you? Uh, no, I just got here myself. Oh, wow. Eh? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, those clothes are really cute, Rosie. Result? You go, Rosie, you minx. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, it looks like they got one of those new footy games in. You want to give it a shot? A football game? I never really saw the point. Wouldn't you rather be outside playing it for real? I guess there's no reason why you can't do both, right? And besides, playing an arcade game is the only way I'm ever going to see England beat Brazil. <laughs> So you, uh, you like football, then? Sure! I'm not sure if I'm any good at playing it in real life, but I follow matches every now and again. Hmm... What position do you think is most important? In a team, I mean. If you had to pick one. Hmm... It's gotta be the striker, right? And they're the coolest to boot. Definitely the goalkeeper. What's a team without one of those, right? i say the midfielder. Sounds like the most difficult position, too. I can't remember what position he played. I think he was on defense, but I can't quite remember. Midfielder? I mean, you have to work at setting up all the goals, running up and down the pitch. It looks like it would take a lot out of you. It does! Alright, I remembered! Uh, I mean, uh, you're the first person I've asked who's picked the midfielder, Rosie. It is- it's good to know that somebody appreciates them. Sure. Though I guess all positions are pretty important, really. Uh, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I've never seen this look on his face before! <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but he seems happy about it, at least. I don't know. <laughs> uh, happy? My- be a word? You could also use a different word that I won't say right now. Anyway, club, guys. Am I right? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> <sighs> well, <laughs> how did our midfielding do for us? Okay, nothing yet. Go on another date. I should save again. Do you want to go to the park? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm usually there during the day anyway. Really? I mean, okay, cool. I'll see you there then. Sure. Uh, see you in a bit, Rosie. Success. Now let's try wearing a cute outfit. Should I wear that? Or... Yeah, let's wear that. I'm done. Hey, sorry, you weren't waiting long, were you? Uh, no, I just got here myself. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, those clothes are really cute, Rosie. Result? Okay, so that played out the same. Sorry for dragging you back to the park again. You said you come here every Saturday for football training, right? Uh, it is- it's no trouble, really. I think it's really nice out here. And it's not like it's far from my house, either. 
what do you think we should do? If this place gets busy quickly on days like this, we should probably hurry before it gets too crowded. Hmm. Can we go skating, though? Oh my god, can we go skating, though? Purr? You wanna go skating? It ought to be frozen over at this time of year, right? I think they're hiring out skates, too. What do you say? What, r right now? Uh, I don't know. Really? I've heard it's really cool. Nothing like skating at a normal rink at all. They've strung up lights all around the edges and it's really romantic. Ugh, well... It's been a while since I last tried, but I guess I don't mind. That's the spirit. I'll try not to show myself up. This boy hears romance and he's there. Whew, I thought that'd be a lot harder than it was, but I guess it's just like riding a bike. You never really forget, huh? W wow you make it look so effortless. You really are amazing, Rosie. How did you learn to skate like that? Well, you see, in another timeline, I dated this uh, inline skater named Red, and he taught me a thing or two. Ah, <laughs> uh, you really think so? I think it was just a fluke, really. W well, even so. How long do you think the lake will be frozen like this? You don't mind coming back next week, do you? Or maybe I should come back and practice on my own first. I mean, I'm nowhere near your level. Wow. I think he's really impressed. You go, Rosie. Hmm. Next week, huh? Is that a date, I hear? Monsieur? Monsieur Pierre? I think that could be arranged. Might have to twist my arm a little, but I think we could arrange that. Oh, tattoos, am I right? But your tattoo is so manly, Beck. <laughs> oh, Beck. I'm sorry. I've got a sweet, sweet boy I'm focused on right now. I got no time for your manliness, carps or otherwise. Ah, oh, Merle. Fine, I'll flock you home this one time. Purr? Hey! Alright, up to smiley face level. Let's go on another date to the park if you wanna. Okay. It's a date. Um, let's wear that. Oh, I guess we're in fashion this uh, time as well. You know, the girls at work are always going on about those kinds of clothes. They look really good on you, Rosie. Really? Uh, thanks. I'm glad you like it. You go, Rosie, you fashionista, you. Didn't even try. Hmm, I haven't been in a while, but they have rowboats down to the lake, don't they? Uh, the f lake that's frozen that we just skated on the other day? I mean, uh, yeah, I think so. The ones with oars and those massive swan ones with the pebbles. Uh, I'm not sure if they're still there, though. It's been so long. Why? Did you want to ride one? Hmm. <sighs> Do I appeal to his manliness? Hmm. Maybe? Well, I was thinking maybe you could row us across. If you wanted to, I mean, I wouldn't want to put you out. But it's kind of romantic, right? And I don't really know if I'd be any good at rowing. Uh, not at all. I'd love to. And, uh, I mean, two people rowing would kind of be a hassle anyway. Rowing about on the lake with a cute girl. I wonder if any of the others are still around to see this. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, no, uh, let's get going, shall we? A cute girl, you say? I hear. I hear all your mutterings. <laughs> he just keeps muttering to himself. <laughs> Purr, <laughs> you need to chill. <laughs> just chill. It's just me. Uh, Mercedes, I don't have time for you. Look, I've got super cute, super sweet things happening in my life, and... You're not any of those things. <laughs> oh, I could hack Mercedes, but uh, for real though, leave. 
Oh, hey, it's Shupin's birthday. Maybe I shouldn't bother with that, though. Valentine's Day, definitely gonna call that boy. Don't you dare say no. Ah, we got his face now. Skating? Have you practiced? Okay. We're gonna be a young madam. That's too elegant. Okay. Young madam. Hey, sorry. Okay, we're gonna do the rowing again. I guess that is pretty romantic for Valentine's Day, even if the lake is frozen. Are you sure it's okay you walking me all the way home like this? It's getting pretty dark. Oh, uh, it's fine, really. Uh, it'd be kind of lonely walking home alone tonight of all nights, right? Uh, and anyway, I wanted to give you this. Huh? What is it? Oh, is this for Valentine's Day? You really didn't have to. I mean, I didn't even get you anything. Uh, that is- that's fine, honestly. I mean, uh, I hope you like it anyway. Um, uh, happy Valentine's Day, and, uh, I hope you have a good evening. Thank you. Uh, same to you, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I'd better get going. Thanks for inviting me out today. Uh, it was really great, Rosie. No problem. I had a great time, too. Hmm. I wonder how he lugged this big box around all day without me noticing. Big box? Also, he's... I'd like to just point this out for the record. He's the first boy out of all of them to actually say, Hey, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. I really like you. Here's a present. <laughs> Instead of like, I got you something, you know, because we know each other and stuff. And I figured, well, you know, why not? He's just like, it's Valentine's Day. Well, let's open her up. Ooh. I think this might be my favorite gift yet. They're so pretty. Oh, wow. Little Valentine's cupcakes. <laughs> he must have looked adorable buying something this cute. Wish I could have seen his face. Oh, well. I'd best tuck in before these go stale. Maybe I could save him one for the next time we go out. That would be nice. Be nice if we weren't an absolute pig and ate like four giant cupcakes in a row. There's a thought. Thinking, Rosie. That's good. That's good. Stuff I like to see. Oh, I can't believe it's nearly that time already. This year has really flown by. I know. It's weird to think we'll really all be leaving come May. I don't feel anywhere near old enough for uni. You two ready for the end of the year yet? I've already got my dress picked out. Uh, we have to buy end of year dresses? What sort of expensive tra tradition is that? Ah, uh, no, she's talking about the Leavers Ball. I'm surprised you haven't heard about it already, Rosie. She's been going on about it all year. With good reason. It's what makes this whole long year worthwhile. Huh, maybe for you. But I don't even own a dress. I still think it's pretty sexist you have to turn up in one at all, to be honest. I think I'll end up having to borrow one of my aunts. <laughs> I'm all for it, me. If they let girls turn up in suits, you'd only get boys showing up in dresses, and it'd be the end of society as we know it. Anyway, the ball's not until the 15th of May anyway, so you've got bags of time to figure out how to look presentable, right? I'm only bringing it up now because it's open day next Tuesday, and all the upper six classes are putting on fundraisers to raise money for it. The cheapness of this bloody school never fails to astound me. I don't know, I think it makes it even more special somehow, knowing it's all been done through money we've raised. Plus, the events are usually pretty fun. Do you know what your class is doing? Eh, it's pancake day, so some bright spark decided we should make pancakes here at school. I can tell it's not going to end well. Also, I can't cook to save my life, so I nominated Rosie to be on pancake duty. H hey I don't know anything about cooking either. Eh, there's nothing to it. You'll be fine. I'll be too busy waitressing to help you out, but I'm sure you can handle it, right? Sorry, Rosie. I'd help you, but I'm pretty sure they'll have me showing parents around like I had to last year. I'm sure you'll do fine, though. Hardly anyone ever turns up for these things anyway. Uh, I think. Uh, looks like I don't really have much choice. I guess it could be pretty fun. That's the spirit! But making pancakes in the classroom? I'm sure that breaks pretty much every health and safety rule, even without letting me loose with pans and hot oil. I'll be fine. We're an old pro at this point now. 
Although, I think if Patim shows up, I think she's one of the hardest ones. I got mail! Hooray! Oh. A thank you email. Hello, Rosie. I hope you don't mind receiving another of my rambling emails. I shall try and keep it short this time. This might be a little out of the blue, but I really wanted to thank you again for spending so much time at the music club. Not that I think you come to the club for my sake, of course. Your skill at the piano is testament to that. The amount of hard work you have put in over these past months is amazing, and I only wish I had half the drive you have. At any rate, this is getting quite long, so I won't take up any more of your time. I hope you are well and that you continue to grace the music club with your presence. Was that too much? Take care, Patim. Aw, Patim. You're so sweet, girl. I love you. Don't forget that. Even though I'm on your brother's route right now. Whoa! That was quick. Call a boy up on Valentine's Day and see how far that gets you, I guess. Um, I can't remember if it's still winter. I'll try and see. Um, there we go. Okay, it is still winter. Well, he's like really putting off that skating. I'm gonna catch you though. I'm gonna catch you. We're gonna go skating again one of these days before winter is up. Gah, have I even got everything? Butter, spatula, and what are these people doing here already? We haven't even set up yet. I get the feeling they're setting themselves up for disappointment. Oh, stop complaining. Think of all the money we'll end up making if all these mooches actually buy something. It's almost a shame it'll all be going towards the ball. Well, most of it anyway. That and as much alcohol as I can carry. And here I thought you were in it for the dancing and ball gowns and whatnot. Hey, there's nothing that goes on at these things that can't be done with a few shots of vodka in you. And besides, it'll be our Leva's ball, our prom. Gotta celebrate somehow, right? I guess that's one way of thinking about it. Anyway, I should carry on setting up. You get that pan warmed up. They'll be piling in any time now, I can feel it. Wow, I'm surprised as many people bothered showing up, to be honest. It's hard to imagine any of the other stalls could possibly be worse than ours. Ah, oh, Rosie! Patim! I see that business is going well. Oh, hey, Patim. Uh, this is kinda new, us meeting outside the music room. Ah, uh, yes, well... The music room is rather out of the way. I can imagine it being quite troublesome for visitors to have to travel all the way to the third floor just to see my meager display. At any rate, as I have not had any visitors as of yet, I decided I should take the opportunity to visit the other stalls. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry. I would have helped you with your display, but I kind of get got roped into this. Oh no, not at all. This stall looks wonderful, Rosie. I can tell you put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing amazing, though, really. We're only making pancakes, and I'm not even particularly good at that. Well, they look very... cute. You don't want any, do you? I think I've just about got the hang of not setting fire to anything. And we've got all these toppings to choose from. Ah, uh, well, actually, as I was making my way here, I stopped off at a few other stalls. Did you know we have a boxing club? I was very surprised. It was the first I had heard of it. And so I stayed to have a look and ended up talking to the club president. Wow, Patim talking to someone other than me? That's one for the books. You go, girl. Really? You're not going to switch clubs or anything, are you? All right, she was into boxing before as well. Of course, we learned that too. Uh, no, no, nothing like that. It's a little too late for that now, at any rate. But, uh, as I was leaving, I mentioned that I would be stopping at your stall. And they were rather insistent that I bring them something back. Uh, rather a lot, actually. I I'm sorry, is that alright? Eh, of course. I mean, that's great. The more customers we get, the more money we'll make, right? And the boxing club probably eat like pigs. Ah, uh, uh, thank goodness. I do not wish to cause you any trouble. You seem very busy as it is. There are three of them in all, and they were not especially forthcoming as to what they wanted. Something that tastes good, and with as many toppings as possible, I think was the president's only requirement for his. Okay, I think I can handle that. What about the other two? I forget their names, but one wanted something simple, 
maybe lemon and sugar and said he liked his pancakes crispy and the other just wanted something with cream i think okay i think i've got that i'll try not to mess them up i'm sure they will turn out to be delicious well we can ensure that by saving okay let's get cracking club president wanted something good with lots of toppings right way to be specific I'll start by cooking the batter. A nice golden brownish color ought to do it. And while that's cooking, I can drink some water. So, win-win. Perfect pancake. Toppings? Everything and anything. I have to cook one for Purr. I hope he gives me an order, because I don't know him that well yet. Oh, that's that over with. Oh, looks like this one turned out pretty well. Whew, why am I fooing? Okay, next up, the second guy wanted something simple and crispy with lemon and sugar, right? Can't mess with the classics, I guess. Something simple and crispy with lemon and sugar, I think. I got so caught up in the crispy part that I might have forgotten the actual toppings. Oh boy. Here we go. Eh. That's that. Perfect! He better appreciate the work I put into this. Okay, good. Right, finally, the last guy just wanted something with cream, right? That should be easy enough. Yep. A perfect pancake with a dollop of cream in the middle. Can't go wrong. Plop. Done. That'll do. I think that turned out quite nicely if I do say so myself. Well, looks like I'm done here. I better take these out to the team. And done. There you go. I hope they're okay. Ah, thank you, Rosie. They look absolutely delicious. I'm sure they will love them. <laughs> well, I try. Now you hurry back to your boxers. I'm sure they're missing you. Ah, well, Ellen was teaching me correct right hook technique before I left. I suppose he did seem quite eager to continue the lesson. I will see you later, Rosie. Wasn't Ellen the one that was in the drama club before? I... I'm not going to ask. Ugh, looks like this place is finally beginning to die down. Can't say I'm looking forward to cleaning up, but... Huh. And I wonder where all the guys got to. I guess they're all too busy to stop by our little stall. Huh. Uh, of course, Purr doesn't go to our school, so he wouldn't be there. But we didn't think to, like, drive all the way to his house with a pancake girl. Girl, how could you not, though? How could you not get him a pancake? <laughs> That's so mean of us. Okay, quite sad about that, actually. Oh, hey, Patim. I can't go with you yet. Sorry. Do we not love him enough? I mean, look at this. He's so in love with us. I, s I mean, we are gonna go on other dates in his other route. <sighs> but I really wanted to get another skating thing. Well, I'll try one more time. Otherwise, we'll start going to the food court. Uh, I better change my shirt. There we go. He just wants to row. He's like, he's intimidated by our skating. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll start going to the food court or the Arndale or whatever it is I'm going to. Oh, hey, Marius's birthday. Maybe I shouldn't touch that, though. Um, and what else? Hang out. Alright, let's, uh... Come on, Purr! Just give me a skating day, please! I know you wanna. You are the one, the one that wants to skate. Oh, it's spring now. Well, I guess... 
We gotta figure out what he likes out of these options. Um, let's go feed the ducks. I used to do it all the time as a kid. They're just so cute. Though the swans would always come over and steal my bread. <laughs> really? I can just imagine your little face. Hey, it was pretty traumatic to tell you the truth. <laughs> You're really adorable, you know, Rosie. I mean, uh, I wonder if they sell bread down there. Let's go check it out, shall we? What can I say? My inner cuteness just shines through, I guess. Opper. Well, you beat me out with that skating thing. I'll have to get you on your next route, I guess. 